Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner, and welcome to Village Core, where we live our mission, which is to build intergenerational connections for mutual learning. This is a place where senior wisdom and youth tech minds join forces in order to bring you meetings like this. Today, we'll be discovering ChatGPT and how you can do it to do virtually anything online and discover new ways to use ChatGPT for your day-to-day -day life and make your life a little simpler. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is created by OpenAI, which allows you to basically have AI right there with you. AI is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence that builds off itself, learns and learns off of you and what you do when you interact with the bot. So what we can do is essentially anything with ChatGPT. I can ask it to make recipes. I can ask it to write um, stories for me. I could ask it to do various things for me. Let's say that I have a essay that I really need to turn in. And let's say I don't have somebody quick enough who can proofread everything. ChatGPT can do that for me. It can proofread it, it can change it up, it can change the style of how I write and it can help me improve in many different ways. So the way that I can use it right now is, let's say I want to create create a recipe. Let's say let's say I'm gonna create um, a birthday cake for my uh, friend's brother who just who just had his birthday. Let's say let's tell ChatGPT to make a birthday cake that is gluten free and that has that uses choc chocolate and strawberries in the recipe. So now that we have our prompt, what we can do now is we can hit generate. So now, now we can see that Chappie ChatGPT created me a gluten-free chocolate and strawberry birthday cake with the ingredients of what I'll need. So one cup of, one cup of gluten-free flour, one half cup of almond flour, um, sugar, all that typical stuff that you need within a cake. And then for the strawberry filling, we can specify one cup of fresh strawberries chopped, one tablespoon of granule sugar, one uh, tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water, and then we also have for the uh, chocolate garnish, we have this other stuff. And then we also have the instructions, how to prepare the strawberry filling, how to prepare the, um, how to prepare the chocolate garnish, and then assembling the cake. But let's say I don't necessarily want to make it this way. Let's say, let's say make it so that there is no strawberry, no strawberry, filling but strawberries strawberries are still util I can't spell utilized in the recipe. Uh, and so now that we have that, we now have a strawberry cake that is gluten-free chocolate cake with strawberries. No longer are there any strawberry filling. It is now with strawberries itself. So we can see strawberries as a topping rather than strawberries as a filling. So you can customize it. You can give it more prompts. You can take away prompts and you can do a whole lot more with it than actually doing this as well. So let's say... Let's say I'm having some struggles and having some difficulty with kind of getting along and learning kind of a different language um, and kind of understanding how to pronounce something or understanding how to um, and how how to do um, different things like that. So let's say teach me the Spanish for the Spain version of Spanish and help me understand understand why they use the conjugation of vosotros instead of Mexican Spanish and there you and they and why they don't use vosotros. 
So now that we have this, we have we can tell ChatGPT to teach me a language, teach me the Spanish version of of Spanish, and help me why they use the help me understand why they use the conjugation of vosotros instead of Mexican Spanish, and why they don't use vosotros, which is something that a lot of people get mixed up when learning. Uh, Spanish because there are two different types and two different forms. Right now, ChatGPT is thinking because I am running off of ChatGPT 3.5, which takes a little bit longer to generate. Um, there is ChatGPT 4.0, which gives you a lot more access to different kinds of things. Um, you can get different chatbots that are curated um, uh, for different types of tasks. Um, you can set one up to create a daily routine for you. Uh, exercise, you could ask it to help you work, um, and then other things like that. ChatGPT 4, uh, ChatGPT 4.0 is also connected to the internet. So with that, keep with that in mind, you have the ability to actually look up different uh, things and get different things that are um, in live time. Let's try to regenerate this because it's not working. And because that of uh, because you have access to um, updated internet, you could ask it different things. You can get different topics, and then of course with ChatGPT, you can also get different citations and use it as a resource within your writing. I wouldn't necessarily um, copy and paste from ChatGPT because it does kind of sound like AI and sounds robotic. What I would do rather is use it as a resource rather than something to copy it from because using it as a resource, you have access to way more tools when copying and pasting, it's easy to detect and easy to make sure and easy to tell that you've been using ChatGPT. So here we go, the conjugation of vosotros. Now that we have this, I can understand the difference between vosotros in European Spanish and then vosotros in Mexican Spanish. So now that I have this, I can then say, um, let's say, give me a examples of when vosotros should be used. And now I have examples of when vosotros should be used. So essentially what I can do is I can build off the prompts that I've given it. And then of course, if I wanna save my progress, I can log in. Um, so this will basically give me a different kind of um, prompt on the side that where I have all me all the past things that I've generated in order to go back and look at it and keep track of everything that I've done. So now that we have login to try our latest module with even smarter res smarter responses, upload files, analyze images, and browse the web with our latest model, which is ChatGPT 4.0. So what I can do here is I can sign up, I can create an account, type my email in, get that all ready to go. Um, and what I'll show you here actually, oops, what I'll show you, oh, and pause, uh, let me give it access, there we go. So what I can show you here actually is the updated version. Oh, I'm actually not logged in. Well, I can't show you, but essentially what I can show you is the cost of ChatGPT, um, cost of ChatGPT 4.0 uh, price. So the pricing for ChatGPT 4.0 is essentially you have two different or you have two different ways that you can go with ChatGPT. You can go with the free version, which I've been showing you and showing you how you can utilize the free version for very basic things. Um, it's still it's still complex and it still does have um, a lot that you can do with 3.5, and it does give you access to limit. It does give you limited access to 4.0, but also. Um, with the uh, with the ChatGPT Plus membership, you get early access to new features, access to ChatGPT 4, 4.0, and ChatGPT uh, 3.5. You also get up to five times more messages for ChatGPT Chat GPT 4.0, access to data analysts, file, uh, vision, and then web browsing. And then there's also DALI uh, image generation, which means that you can create different AI images that allow you to use them when you either work or when you do other things as well. You can create different images, like let's say a dog riding a unicycle. It can generate that for you using DALI, um, and then you can use that. And then you can also create and use custom uh, GPTs, which are, which are designed for you to basically create, customize, and do all that sort of stuff. So let's say 
let's say I were to use ChatGPT 4.0 um, for, let's say, meal prepping. Every single week, I want a new meal prep to basically help me stay on a diet. So I can tell Chat GPT and it's custom GPT that I create that every single week I wanna try a new recipe and I wanna meal prep it. So the way that that works is I can specify, okay, within, this, within these five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I wanna have something that I can eat that is both healthy and then also is new. Then that can repeat over and over and over again, and it can keep generating with more recipes, more ingredients, and other things like that. There's also ChatGPT Team. So ChatGPT Team allows you to have uh, for, uh, fast moving teams uh, looking for a supercharged collaboration where you and a team of people can get together and use it in order to, gen to generate four different types of businesses um, and then also create a ChatGPT workspace. Um, and there's admin consoles for, uh, for management. And this allows you to have better access and better oversight to see what your employees are doing. There's also ChatGPT Enterprise, which everything included in team, you get unlimited high access to ChatGPT 4, 4.0, and tools like Dolly, browsing the web, data analysis, and more. Expanded content window for larger inputs, which means that I typically wouldn't, with ChatGPT um, 3.5, I wouldn't be able to run big things. But if I were to get ChatGPT Enterprise, I'd be able to run much larger projects because that is what it's designed to do for these enterprises. Um, and then we can also get enterprise data uh, excluded from training uh, at, by default and custom data uh, retention windows. And then there's admin consoles, domain verification and analytics priority support and ongoing account management. So this is for more businesses. These are for teams. This one is just if you want individual um, looking to amplify their productivity. And then this one is the basic version that a lot of people use. So what it can also do is it can literally do anything for you. So it can say, you can say, teach me about World War II and what the United States did uh did in Canada while the war was going on. So we can see what the United States did in Canada. We can see that they had close allies fighting against each other, military cooperation, all that sort of stuff. You can learn, you can collaborate, you can get the information that you need. And then of course, ChatGPT is here for you to use all the time. Um, and if you do wanna pay, the different pricings are here. It's either $20 a month for individual. For teams, it's either 25 or 30, depending on how big the team is. Um, so it's per user base. And then for enterprise, you do have to contact sales with ChatGPT to get an estimate about how big your uh, business is, and then also connecting your sales team and other connecting to their sales team um, to basically see if your business can co can handle ChatGPT um, being integrated onto the website. So this is something that you can do if you want people to have help um, with different things. So let's say if Microsoft were to add it, Microsoft could add it and they could say, okay, for all tech and help support, ChatGPT will handle it. Of course, they wouldn't do that, but if they did, they could use ChatGPT um, for that very purpose. So there's research, there's products um, for everyone, teams, enterprise, education. They also have ChatGPT for education. And then they have platform overview, uh, pricing, documentation, and then API login. There's also OpenAI for business and then stories as well that they have about different users using it. There's also safety, so safety overview, safety standards, safety systems, uh, preparedness, and then uh, su uh, and then super alignment. And then for companies, as you can learn more about their company as well. Safety for ChatGPT is a big thing that people are worried about. ChatGPT will not store any information unless it is specifically towards you. Um, and then ChatGPT also makes sure that you don't put any sensitive information into the uh, AI module because it doesn't necessarily want you giving away your information that could be used against you potentially. Um, there's also 
uh, risk of somebody typing in something that they should not be typing in. And so typically if somebody were to type something in um, that is concerning or that is something that ChatGPT can't do, it'll typically just pop up with a warning message saying, hey, I can't do that. Maybe try maybe try talking about something else um, or changing topics entirely. So ChatGPT has all that and more. You can get ChatGPT on your desktop. And there's so many different ways that you can get ChatGPT and use it for anything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Other than that, ChatGPT AI model can, can do a lot for you. Um, and it's a really good tool to utilize and to also help you learn more about your surroundings and help you learn more about the world all through the power of AI. So other than that, I have nothing really else to add about ChatGPT. It's just a really easy tool. So uh, be sure to check out our website, which is at villagecore.org, where you can check out other events like this or future events that we host. And then also be sure to check out our YouTube channel, which is at Village Core Channel, so that you can keep up to date with both past and future videos that we post just like this one, so you can learn about more cool, uh, more cool stuff and more cool tech that is online uh, on the internet. So I want to thank you all very much for watching.